All right, uh, Robin. Yep. Before, as we start things off, I would uh, like you to give me the name of an NPC that you know in Thrain. Oh, uh, NPC. Let's see. Uh, Nolan. That's Nolan. Yeah. That's pretty easy. All right. We're going to open this campaign up, not with a bang, but at uh, one of the cathedral fortresses of Thrain, Fort Light. It is a large fortress built on the border between Thrain, Ondere, and Breland. It was designed to hold both of their armies back and uh, protect their nearby, protect the path, protect the forest, nearby forest, the borders, and the roads to the capital. Somebody posted some food chats. Yeah. No run. Okay. Yeah. So, Robin, uh, what is your char- What's your character's name? Introduce your character for us. Okay. Uh, just right now. Okay. Cool. Uh, right now. So, uh, you guys uh, probably, uh, from judging by the outlook of uh, Snake Eyes. No. Huh? Hmm? Yeah. So, no. Your characters are starting out separate. They're gonna. Oh. Okay. Come together in Zendra, uh, they're not so, together yet. Okay, so uh, I'll just tell you guys his name, I guess, uh, since it's not. Okay, so Cyrus uh, Grimm, he is a well, uh, well dressed, uh, kind of a hunter like outfit, uh, which you can see by the outfit, it's kind of. Mm, uh, you, it must come from a high standard, you know, uh, you know, clothing. But it's been worn off by the weather, by kind of long time, you know, try to long journey or stuff like that. Maybe even combat. So it's a little bit worn, and he's uh, his figures are hide inside a hood. And which makes it harder for anyone else to, you know, take a look. And he probably uh, travels with uh, co- some companies, you know, uh, took on hired jobs to keep the traveling, I don't know, caravan safe, uh, but also earn some income while he's doing that. And he's currently moving towards Tharn for. Well, a contract. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for now. I don't know how much I should, you know, talk that's about. It's fine. Yeah. So here is a picture just to help you imagine what Fort Light looks like. Okay. Here's a picture of it. Let's see if it loads. Yeah, that's how he yeah. looks. Yeah. That's. Yeah, that's what the fort looks like. Yeah. It's a giant cathedral to the silver flame. Um, you were summoned there by your friend Nolan. You're walking along the battlements on the outs- uh, you're walking on the battlements of this large fortress, and Nolan is talking to you. He's been describing the problems plaguing a ne- the brother city of Zandrar. And you know that during the last war, um, that even though Thrain was nominally Brelin's enemy, Crusaders from Thrain would fight to defend the innocent whenever they, the innocent were threatened. So, like, if monsters or bandits threatened the town, even if the town belonged to an enemy, the Crusaders would show up and help the town. Mm-hmm. And then they'd leave. They wouldn't con- try to conquer it in the interim. So... Character. Um, so Nolan, Nolan, as he after he describes the situation that Zandrar is currently under threat, not just from bandits and from deserters from the last war, but also from monsters from nearby Drawham. It is Drawham, right? Let me check my yeah, Drawham. Okay, so he said he looks at you and says, "So the church is planning to send is planning to send people out to try to stop it," and I. Thought you'd be one. I thought your name would be, uh, would be put, would be, should be thrown into the ring there. So, yeah. are you willing to go? Sure. Uh, what's the pay? 
You know the deal. Anything. Want, you know. Anything you can loot from them. Uh. They've been raiding Morrison since more farms this for months. I'm sure they have something for you. Sure thing, I guess. Yeah, the I'm church won't claim any anyway. Yeah, the church isn't going to try to claim any of it. Yeah, you're going to need this. And he hands you a passport. All right. So you don't need that. Credential. So passport also, of Thrain. Yeah, passport of Thrain. Passport of Thrain. Also, it's important that you don't start a diplomatic incident. Remember, tensions are still high. The last war wasn't that long ago. Don't worry. You know me. That's sneak why I'm in. giving you the warning. No, sneak in, sneak out. That's my motto, right? <laughs> yes, I remember the I remember the kitchen incident quite fondly. <sighs> Do we have to bring that up? Damn. Yes. Always. Now, your the caravan's going to leave in battle. Have a good trip. All right. Lead. Well, where is it, by the way? <laughs> Just outside? So, yeah, it's just outside the fort. Okay. Well, stay safe, I guess. You too. We'll keep in contact. Yeah. And Cyrus walks out. Cyrus walks out to join his caravan. Alright, next up we have Ariana Rod. How do you pronounce your character's name, Cy? Si? Uh, it'll be a uh, Arianod. Yeah, basically the the D is out. Arianod. 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 Okay. Arianod. Okay. Is it Gwendy? Uh, no, just kidding. Okay. Let me find some music so I can give you that. Uh, okay, here's the right one, I think. You know what, that's actually perfect. And so as uh, Cyrus gets onto the climbs up into this caravan, into the wa his wagon of the caravan, we're going to go to the Eldian Reaches, to the depths. Whatever. We're going to go to the depths of the Eldian Reaches. Arianard, you have been called before the Great Druid. The living... the. I shouldn't say living all trees are alive. The sentient tree that leads to wardens of the wood. Mm -hmm. So you're standing before this massive, this massive pine tree, and and you can see in the bark, the bark is forms like this face, this elderly, sagacious face. Um, so can you describe your character for us, please, at this moment? Um, let's see it. Arianna hasn't seen civilization for a large majority of her life. Cloistering mm -hmm. herself in the woods far from her home as a means to further attune herself to nature. Her joining yeah. of the warden was a little more than her being in the right place at the right time than any sort of higher calling. Having left her own home, or like her own grove, with uncharacteristic urgency in order to kind of right a wrong that she felt only she was capable of correcting. Um, she's typically a little bit of an airhead and enthralled the trapping is also like his life. A bit serene, curious, and rather indulgent in trying out anything new that, well, that she finds as new. Um, but given her affinity with nature in itself, she has no issue showing up as she is today. Um, to heed the call of, you know, Grandpa Pinewood here. And, you know, like, she just stands there quietly, um, eyes shut, and kind of serenely 
waiting around for uh, the latest news. Um, she's typically wearing her, uh, you know, she's a, a wood elf, and she's typically wearing her um, druid robes with uh, a nice wooden shield and scimitar. Mm -hmm. uh, but she, she's not the first one to fight, and if it does, and if, she, if it does come to blow, she is one who uh, goes for a bit of mercy to her enemies. So like, she's never like aimed to kill yet. Yeah. But otherwise, you know, she's a, she's a, a decent mess. But yeah, that's what we did. All right, you so you, you sit there for a few minutes as the tree as Grandpa Tree gathers its thoughts. Um, the great druid eventually does speak. It's the bark cracking as it moves its mouth and says, "Are you awake, Ariadne?" Yes. Okay, good. Most people fall asleep waiting for me. It's <laughs> okay. You love nature. You would not have joined us if you hadn't. Yeah. Nature is about to come under threat. Four elemental planes will come into co will become coterminous with Everon within the next few months. The play these planes will cause untold damage if they are not held in check both to nature and to civilization. You, Arianard, are one of the chosen druids that shall be sent out into the world to protect a portion of it from the influence of these planes. Really? Really. Really, really? Really, really, really. Oh, he said three really, is this serious? Yes. I am glad you understand the seriousness of the situation. It's really, really, really serious. That's a very really right there, man. It is... It will be slow. Uh, this, the conjunctions will be slow in coming. Okay. But, so you should have time to deal with them. Good. But it is important not to delay. You will be traveling to the Brelish to the Brelish city of Zandrar. It is a small city on its northern border. Okay, okay. What's it called again? Zandrar. Zandrar. I remember you need it. help spelling that. I know it's you have trouble with your spelling. <laughs> no, 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 I. It's a Z in drawer. X A N. Wait, oh, X? Yeah, X A N D R A R. Sorry, that, that, that's more for me out of character because it's antic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, How do I Just... spell this? <laughs> I got it. You count on me, Mr. Mister. All right. You must begin your journey immediately. Go forth. Chosen one. Go I forth really... and protect the world. Mm -hmm. She gives a nod and like a bit of a yeah. like a very like un, un like a salute from something. I'm sure that she saw yeah. someone do before. So there's no meaning behind it, but there's there, the 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 the, the Guspa is there, but like she does this thing where like yeah I'm going forth, but she goes the wrong way for a second and then kind of like it's goes the right. Way. Oh right 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 right. And then she leaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's you probably saw it from one of the soldiers during the last war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks important. He did it right. 
So yeah, off she goes. Right. Dennis, mm -hmm. can you please introduce your character to us? Uh, well, Pantor or just Pan as he just as he goes by is. Um, he's a bit of a uh, a man in his thirties, a normal human. Uh, looks pretty thin, but wiry. So he has some has some strength in him, and uh, he likes doing things slow, taking his time, and really exploring things both now and in the future. Um, yeah, I think that's brief enough description of him. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, he doesn't wear the best of clothes, but he wears clothes that, uh, loose clothes that will fit him and uh, will keep for some time. It's sturdy clothing would probably be a better word for him. All right. No, I'm going to use this one. All right. Um, and what exactly brought someone like you to work for the for the Aurum, the premier rich premier rich club for rich people in all of Eberron? He obviously knows that rich people have a lot of things they don't want to do themselves. Mm -hmm. do, they all things they don't want to lower themselves to. Yeah. So, which is uh, why people like him are here, he believes. People who do not mind dirtying themselves if a job needs to be done. Alright. That is why you are sitting in a plush, overstuffed chair in the office of one Barnabas, one Barnabas Goldfinger. A representative from the Aurum. You can tell he's a member because he has th he has ten gold rings, one on each finger. Ooh. He's a, he's a portly human. Every inch the fat cat tycoon that or the robber baron that was reviled during the Gilded Age of America. He is smoking a thick and pungent cigar, looking out over the city of towers of Sharn. Says, so, Pan, you come back to me. You tell me he's turned into a plant. It was a very simple job, Pan. All you had to do was go out and make him disappear for a short while, and then you come back and you tell me that some wizard has turned him into a plant. Like a literal house plant, like, like not even like, like a spy or something. A literal house plant. And will not have said, yes, yeah. that is what I told you. That is what's written in the report, sir. Yeah, he, Barnabas slaps, just sighs, takes a deep drag on his cigar, and says, "And, and my boy, my boy, I like you." All right, you do good work for us, but we you know, this is the fourth one this month. We can't keep taking these kinds of losses. If the Aurum continues to sense weakness, they're going to pounce on us like jackals, and then not even I will be able to protect you. I thank you for your protection so far. So, I'm going to give you a job. It's a nice, quiet little job. Something to get you out of town for a little bit until this whole thing blows over. He peps up a little. Do you know what uh, domino theory is? You know what domino theory is, my boy? Yes, I have read a little about it. Uh, everything is connected. It will One thing will lead to another in a chain which some men claim they can understand. Precisely. You see, the Aurum's power is based on civilization. The more civilization there is, the more powerful the organization is. 
one little part of that organ that that civilization that that foundation starts to crumble the whole organization will go toppling along with it so we think we have found where the small where the small domino is as it were in northern Breland there is a small city called Zandra it is uh, being threatened by bandits and monsters. It, it's on the verge of anarchy, to be sure. So, Pan, like I said, you're a good soldier. Don't forget all the good things you've done for us in the past. I think that everything that's happened in the past month has just been spot on bad luck. So... I'm going to take a little vacation to Zandra. Go up north, relax, see the sights. And while you're at it, beat the shit out of a few monsters and bandits, drive them off, make it clear that Zandra is off limits. So, it's just, it's just uh, you know, a little, uh, little therapy, a little vacation. Think of it like that. He will sit there drumming his uh, drumming his fingers on his knee for just just a little longer than is really needed before saying I understand and I obey. Good work, my good job, good jobs. And don't worry, you do this right, you'll get it. you'll be able to expect a little bonus in the future. Uh, don't worry. And he gives you a card, he says, he just gives you a little card, and it says, and he says, you show this card to any Galanda when you're staying at, so your cost will be covered by the Orphan. Don't worry too much about it. So you don't need, don't worry too much about the cost of your, of what you're going to stay. Remember, only the finest were a member of the Orphan. And you are a member, even if you're something on the lowest ranks, working with the Senate Forster. Sorry, your um, audio is cutting a little bit off. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> We're like, huh? What did I, you say? I, I, I can, I can, I am, I'm guessing most of what you're saying. Yeah, me too. Yeah. We're like, huh? Yes. I'll be damned if you spend a night at a shitty home instead of a finest in the rest of the as often. Uh, it is how Scaland is. I'm going to be extremely embarrassed if I get that wrong. Still can't I've, understand. I've, yeah, I thank you. Know, yes. I thank you for the Orem's generosity. Yeah. Remember, Pan, you are an investment. I'm trying... I think you'll do good. I'm investing in you because I think you'll do good. Please don't disappoint me. Like I said, you're a good soldier. I remember the good deeds you did for us during the war. And to be frank, I actually kind of like you. But business always comes first, my boy. Yes. It does, he says, standing up. I will part Here's your circus. For the, here's your... Hang on. I need to pull up my map again. Yeah. So yes, here's your seconds for the lightning. You're gonna get off at Israel, and then you, from there you'll be heading north to Zandra. A good trip. Yes, I hope so as well. I will see you when I return, sir. I will see you too when you return. Don't worry, we'll keep, we'll keep in contact with you. He nods and gives him a small smile before bowing and leaving. Alrighty. So the stage is set and the pieces are moving. Many days later, you all arrive one after the other in Zandrar. It's a small city, only about uh, 7,000 or so. It sits on the road, on the crossroads between Silver Lake and Lake Galifar. It's just south of the Eldian Reaches. It's 
also, unfortunately, within raiding distance from Jeroam. Mm. Um, during your travel, as you travel, as you all traveled towards Zandra, you have seen evidence of monsters raiding and bandits raiding out of Jeroam. You've seen, um, you've seen burned homesteads, wrecked caravans. You've seen bodies nailed to trees. The monsters mean business, but with the war going, with the last war having ended only in like the loosest sense possible, and with monsters also, with goblins also coming from the nearby goblin empire of Dargoon, uh, Breland really doesn't have the kind of resources needed to try to keep the try to keep the monsters from drawing under control. I mean, to be fair, they don't. Xandra really doesn't have it as bad as, like, a sit, like the town of Silbaron, but it's uh, it's enough that it's it's crippling. It, it's the town is uh, the mood is in town is sullen. Mm-hmm. Like people are just wondering when's the next attack going to come? What's the next rumor we're going to hear? When will something happen that pushes everything back over the edge once more? So, um, Pan, you're the, you're actually the first one to arrive. Okay. What do you think of this city? Yes, seen many things in his travels, uh, in his work, and this isn't the most depressing city. It looks like a city filled with fear, and mm. that's this is where he usually works. Yeah. In fear. So he's, um, he fits well in. His clothes well worn. His, he isn't really a very striking figure. Not tall. Not. So he just fits in somehow. All right. It's excellent. Um, one thing you do know, Pan, from your uh, from your travels up here, you know you're not going to be able to do it on your own. You're going to need to find some outside help, which is fine. They don't mm-hmm. need to know about the arm. They don't need to be paid what the arm pays you. As far as they need to know, you're just a, a guy looking for help to deal with the problems plaguing Xandrar. I am... In total agreement. So he will. Uh... Oh, well, hey, there's your first conscript right now. So your boy, Cyrus Grimm. It's the. So, how do you want to recruit Mr. Cyrus Grimm to your cause, Pam? Well, he will. First, you can pronounce my name right. It's Cyrus. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Fuck, fuck I will no. consistently mispronounce it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> or do that. Fucking, fucking snap. I could hear the whip track from here. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh. Um he would t- take a little time to observe him, like just see what he does because it's obviously it's obvious the way he carries himself, what he wears. That he is he's not from here. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's from Thrain. Yeah, he In the way he moves, it he moves like he has seen combat, but not like he's good. At not not fighting. probably not veteran style, but yeah. No, but you have a you have a gate uh, yeah. on you. You walk, you look around in a different way than civilians do. Mm-hmm. So he would like to see what um, what Sirius would uh, do. What Sirius would do? What what this? Hmm. Uh, well, uh, Sirius, sorry. Uh, you guys are making 
No, just kidding. Uh, okay. Ma making a serious mistake. Yeah. <laughs> it's serious. No. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alright. Cyrus will. Well. He will try to. Do his job, actually. The, the, well. The, he. Well. He, he accepted the uh, contract to come here to investigate, but he also accepted the yeah. contract to protect the caravan, so... Yeah, he protected the caravan. Yeah, so he... he on a very uneventful journey. Yeah. Um, what if there's no more guard? Yeah, so no more guard duty. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but from what you've seen, from the results you've seen, you need, uh... You're gonna need help purging these monsters. Do we see... You well... Help. Though the event was, you know, though though the journey was uneventful, do we see sights of monsters? Because the... you saw si saw the results of monster attacks. Okay. Like I said, you see our bodies cruelly mutilated and nailed to trees. You saw the wrecked caravans. You saw how you saw farmsteads, and small nameless villages and hamlets burned out. All right, I'm gonna talk to the caravan owner. You know, the merchants first. And caravan master. Yeah, just ask him yeah. how's the journey been lately i mean uh the, for the for those who travels along this path i know it's been you know terrible attacks but has it been you know all like this all the time or you know the time oh, period it's never been this, good yeah. they're on the last war things were been things about bad this were bad during the last war you had soldiers from on there and and, and thrain and brilliant just constantly attacking you well Ever since the last, when the last war ended, things tied down a little bit, but they've been steadily building back up. Something's riling up the monsters out there. I wouldn't be surprised if it was them daughters of Sora Kel. No watchtowers? No guards? Patrolling the path? No. Too many soldiers are being garrisoned in forts. Tensions are still high. You got me a big assignment, Nolan. Seriously. Yeah. Hmm. He just mutters my that name's to not himself. Nolan, it's Frank. Well, what? Sorry. I said my name's not Nolan, it's Frank. Yeah, sorry, I was talking to myself, Frank. Uh, thanks, thanks for... You seem to do that a lot. Are you feeling alright? Maybe you should see how's Trasco. Yeah, not... Not really feeling alright. I got a big assignment, you know. Like we all do, but... Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll always find a way, I guess. All right, be seeing you then. Yeah, and thanks, uh, Frank. Caravan master Frank weighs and goes back to dealing with his car, yeah. back to unloading his wagon. All right, so he will try. Since Cyrus is like having sort of problem dealing with potential, you know, threats. He will probably try to look around the the hired helps within the caravans to see if he can gather some allies uh, for the uh, task. Yeah. Probably a little after you started talking to the caravan, uh, uh, after you finished talking with the caravan master, mm -hmm. um, Pan would approach you. Mm, uh, I know he uh, um, and he says uh, good afternoon um, my name is Pan and like you I'm newly arrived here um, are I do hope you can excuse this but I was wondering if um, one such as you would be a noble man. Yeah. You see, you see these areas, these towns, these hamlets around here have been attacked ruthlessly. And I would be wondering if you could help in protecting this uh, place such as this at least for a little while well it is my job 
Well, the assignment I took is to protect the caravan. But oh. as for the town, well... An assignment? He says, like, tilting his head a little. Yeah. Like, oh, you, you... you get assignments from the board, you know, the guilds, don't you? How did you heard about this job? Mm, I'm a wanderer. I Inside check. go around. <laughs> uh, it's it's true. I mean, you can see it on him. His his shoes yeah. are <laughs> like well walks and his very uh, sturdy clothing. All right. Uh, I will still want an inside check. Uh, you can do that. Do that if you want to. Hmm. Oh, that's you are a suspicious. Word. I don't <laughs> trust you. He's not suspicious. He is very much what he claims to be. Okay, he's a wanderer. He is a wanderer. Wanda. I mean, no matter what, I will beat it, even <laughs> if I haven't that one as well. <laughs> oh, I'm the kind of guy who likes to roam around. I'm never in one place. I roam from town to town. That's his theme song. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's his theme song. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. And yeah. Uh, well, I would, seeing as your task is finished, he nods towards the caravan, or would you be leaving with them again? Actually, no. I got the money oh. of this, this task, so, yeah, now on to the next job, I guess. Not, uh, or uh, wait, waving to uh, waving towards him. Yeah. Well, let's have a drink and we can talk more. Sure, if you have any source, maybe. Let's uh, let's find a yeah. let's find a tavern, I guess. Uh, the local watering hole. The local watering hole will always have like a board where people post jobs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, I need some money as well. Yep. <sighs> All right, we walk towards the local tavern. Upstairs. The local watering hole here. Bakery, poultry, butcher, uh, poultry, more poultry. It's uh, all right. The tavern, the local watering hole, also doubles as like a landa inn. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's called. Uh... You know what? Uh, you guys are the ones who walked to this place. Robin, what is this place called? You tell me. Uh, Wayfinder, I guess. Wayfinder? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so you guys go into the Wayfinder. It's, uh, it's, it's busy. It's, I mean, Glenda stuff is always the best, so it's not a surprise that it's busy. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, like I said, the mood is sullen. It, the people are angry. People don't want to, you know, deal. Yeah. Tired of the war. war. Tired of it's it. not that. It's, the war is over. People are. Yep. Don't just don't want to deal with the monster race. They're kind of like, why won't the monsters just leave us alone? Yeah. Don't they know that we just fought a war? Mm. <laughs> Post combat syndrome, I guess. Yeah. Post -war Everyone's syndrome. got like this yeah. thousand yards. Some people have this thousand yards stare. Yeah. And. Especially since uh, alcohol shipments have been delayed due to monster raids. Oh, shit. There is a low supply 
And prices have had to be increased. Yeah. Hopefully that's what you came in with the caravan. <laughs> yeah, Hopefully. there's some. Yeah. Yeah. There's some, so the mood is starting to perk up as uh, someone's, as it's announced that, hey, we uh, managed to finally get a good shipment of wine in. Hmm. Do we hear a cheer? But, <laughs> yeah, you know, everyone's like, it's half-hearted. It's half-hearted, like, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. If, yeah. It's not last long. Alright. If um, you find a seat I can buy us the first round sure thing. yeah you yeah you find an empty seat and uh, before long uh, the halfling woman comes up to there comes up to you she pulls up a stool climbs onto the stool so she can look you all in the eye pulls out a pad and says all right what's your poison gonna be gentlemen uh, I go ahead you're the one who would like yeah. to Glasses of beer, please. Yes, um, you know what? Roll, uh, roll a d10 to figure out what you order. Sure. You. First nine. Night, roll of the night. Top shelf? You roll a nine. Uh, you get to, you choose Royal Reserve. Ooh. Oh, do I have the money for that? <laughs> oh, yeah, easily. That's just a name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah cool. So, uh, do you want something serious? Do you want something cereal? Oh, I'll, I'll, I, I'll set just two of the same thing, so he's yeah. getting the same as me. Yeah. Right. Jesus. Right. Be back with the drinks momentarily. Here's your menus. Take your pick. So he Thank you. Your menus. Climbs off a stool and starts running off to go grab you your drinks. Wait. Uh, anything grill? Like. Oh, let's see what we have here. Um, we have braised beef and pears with ginger, roasted cod and mashed potatoes. That one. Minted pea soup. Roasted beef pod. steak and kidney pie. Yeah. I'll probably take the soup. I'll take the uh, roasted post- cod and mashed potato. Yeah, yeah that one. Yep. Poached duck with farro, rib roast, and vegetables, clams oh, and garlic. Damn it, I want to switch my menu. <laughs> I want to switch my order. <laughs> cedar, <laughs> cedar planked salmon, rack of lamb, and baked potato. Or they have uh, stuff from the nearby, from uh, from the local area, from the local farmers around here. I'll, I'll take the roasted mm. pork. I'll stick with the soup. <laughs> Uh, let me see. We need meat. We don't have pork. Uh... <laughs> Wait, oh. I heard. Sorry, I heard <laughs> there's roasted pork. Was it? No, yeah, I heard beef. Roast. Okay, sorry, beef. Sorry, roasted beef. Yeah, that one. Sorry, my bad. All right, beef steak or braised beef. Beef steak. Beef steak and kidney pie it is. Sure. Meanwhile, Pan is gonna have his. Uh, Soup. All right, uh, Ariana. I'm sorry, I'm gonna mispronounce this one consistently. <laughs> Damn it, Ariana! Uh, <laughs> oh, Ariana, if you want. Can you can you change your name, <laughs> like I did, please? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ariana. Oh no, we call her just Ariana. Just call her Ariana. I'll just call her Ariana. Just call her Ariana. 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 <laughs> Ariana, Ariana. Mm-hmm. Just Ariana. Ariana. Okay, Ariana. Okay, yeah. Ariana. You have also ended up at Wayfarers, mm. and you are looking. Are uh, you a vegetarian? Yeah. Then you are looking at the menu with something approaching horror. <laughs> at all the roasted cat, all the cows they had to kill the, and fish that they had to kill to make this menu. Well, vegetarian, not by choice. Oh. This is when you really can't. It, it's hard to eat when you have when you've had a conversation with what could presumably be food. Yeah. So it would be her first foray in trying out actual like meat or something like that. So yeah. like, she's not against it, but like it's gonna be a very new experience for her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
there. That's true, because she could have conversations with potential food, but then again, in some cases, food might eat food. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you talk to uh, fish, you eat big fish eat smaller fish. Yes. Basically, she's, she's, she's aware of the rules of nature and stuff like that, so she's yeah. not going to be like, ill no food, but it's more like, if she puts up her rapport with what could be dinner, she's like, well, I don't really want to eat you, but, you know, go away before I change my mind, kind of because, like, she does wild shape. She did wild shape back yeah. at home, uh, mostly into a wolf, mm. and usually a bear later on as well. But like, uh, no, yeah, like if she's walking in. I would say like she walked in like way later than when she got there because um, mm-hmm. it wasn't entirely what she envisioned for her first, you know, comeback to civilization. Yeah. While her smile and demeanor hasn't necessarily like faltered, she's a bit. There's a bit of sadness. Like you can see it on her face a little bit too, with like what she saw outside town, mm-hmm. and it kind of reinforced the idea that you know Grandpa Pine Tree was absolutely correct that there is trouble and she is the answer to all this. And she did stop outside the town and address the issues with the trees and that like, the bodies were pinned to it, and she did. It wasn't exactly her job, but like on the way, what she saw, uh, within the capacity that she could see the bodies, like she did, like pull them down from the trees and kind of like lay them to the side, at least like a bit more comfortably, and kind of make sure like the trees are also okay before she walked into the wayfair mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. kind of find herself to like the, the bar counter, mm-hmm. yeah, and just looking at the mini, like she's she's there, like she stands out a little bit too, because like yeah. you know. So it's not that much. People, yeah. there's all kinds of people. There's refugees from all around the area in this in the oh, town, so yeah. she doesn't really stand out that much. So the halfling from behind the bar is uh, sitting on a very ingenious wheeled stool, mm-hmm. and uh, he's basically he's like belted himself onto it, and he uses like a long stick to push himself along. That is so, amazing. So he pushes himself up to you. Says, all "Right, Miss, what's your poison going to be?" What's your poison of choice going to be? Uh, I don't drink poison, but I'll take a water. Uh, all right, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. And he pulls out some water. Says, "Would you like ice with that?" Oh, can I? Then yes. So he pulls out a small tray with all uh, these cube-shaped indentations, and he pulls some uh, water, a jug of water, out and fills up each of the cubes. <laughs> and then he casts prestidigitation to freeze them all into ice, and then dumps it into your glass. Dumps the ice she, into your glass. She claps a little bit, like that's amazing. Just yeah, it's like very minor here. Anyway, have you picked a meal yet? Oh, um, I, I want to try the meat and potatoes. Meat and potatoes. Uh, so would that be rack of lamb and baked potato? Or yeah. Roast cotton mashed potato. Oh, can I get both? He looks at the chair and says, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to finish that. Are you going to be able to eat that much? They're mm-hmm. kind of big. All right, I mean, you can always take it late. You can always take it home with you, I guess. And then he scoots off, and you hear him shouting the order to the chefs in the back. Nice. So nice. she does kind of fish out a nice cube from the cup of like the mug of water she's getting, just kind of just bites into it, like, zero hesitation on doing that. <laughs> oh, I'm screaming, it's cold. <laughs> oh man, it's great. Yeah, it's cold and it's crunchy, but it's ice. <laughs> yeah, um, in a few minutes, your meal, your, your meals are slid across the counter to you. And, uh, you know that, uh, lamb, you know, lamb and, uh, Mm. Mash and cod were once fish and small fluffy sheep, respectively. Um, but uh, you've, the way they've been cut up and served, they don't resemble the animals you remember. They're just brown slabs, brown squishy slabs on the table. Oh. I mean, you've seen like animals get killed by other animals in the wild. It's that's nature. Oh, of course. Uh, I don't think any of them stopped to cook them though, so <laughs> they, didn't to cook them, they didn't slice them up, but like this, this is something of a new experience for you. Oh yeah. Uh, Bard, uh, Bard keeps us 
Yeah, you best eat that before it gets cold. Oh, all right. It's hot. She's just gonna pick it up with her hands and she's gonna just bite into it. Yeah. She's gonna like tear a chunk out because she doesn't yeah. know what silverware is. Well, they uh, <laughs> apparently put you. Like I said, you've eaten raw animal. You know how it tastes. Hmm. Uh, you've never had cooked animal, let alone cooked animal with spice, with some spices sprinkled on it. So it tastes there are like stars in her eyes. <laughs> yeah, there is not it's like nothing you've ever eaten before. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that is wonderful. Yeah. Alright, so meanwhile, back to our two boys. You uh, take a... You guys are eating your meal, and uh, I assume you're talking business? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. Go. Basically, just... Well, just small talks at first, because, you know, uh, I'll probably ask stuff like, uh, so... Where have you been wandering, you know, about? Like, what's your frequent location when you wander? And stuff like that. Just get to know the basics of people before you do a job with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. He will be fairly honest. He will tell him, like, he, uh, he started wandering down south and he'll mention a couple of, like, small village names most of them probably gone by now after the war okay. yeah uh, and um, he end he ended up near the uh, I really forgot what it's called the city of spires Sharn. 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 yeah yeah he ended you up were there in Sharn? Uh, and he... interesting I was there too this is quite the place yeah quite political entangled war He's simply not. Yeah. Yeah, Astron is like in the far south of Berlin, so it was spared the worst of the last war. But uh, there were spies political, and saboteurs yeah. that were sent into the city. Yeah. Most of them were caught, mm -hmm. but a couple but a couple were able to succeed. The worst one was when somebody sabotaged one of the floating towers and mm -hmm. caused it to collapse. Yeah. Um, would you be wearing anything from like the silver, silver, silver flame? Uh, the silver church? Uh, the so sorry, mm -hmm. church of the silver flame? Actually, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, you well, the only thing you look kind of a weird is that he's got like a silver, like silvery kind of tattoo on the back of his hand. Like his left hand, you can see it's, uh, it's it's a fire. It's like a kind of a fire-like tattoo, but with a sword, like penetrate through from the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah the thing about the the thing about Thrain, yeah, you recognize the clothes as from Thrain. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's I mean, if it, it wouldn't be strange if he had like some symbol of the Silver Flame on him, because it's a theocracy. Yeah. Yeah. There is royalty there, but they're both they're mostly uh, separate. They're just figureheads at this point. So, how long have you been employed by the flame? Oh, this? <laughs> he he smiles and looks at his left hand, just like this was. Oh, you can say that. You can probably say that. Uh, he, he seems like he just smiles a little bit sarcastically and then just move on just like probably about a year or so mm -hmm. you know hired help it's, it's nothing and he like uh, actually took out a pair of gloves and put it back on his hands when he finishes eating so yeah just before he wipes out, you know, all the dirt Yeah. And all that. S sensing it might be something he doesn't want to talk about, and honestly isn't really that interested. Yeah. So he won't m bring it up again. Okay, cool. Uh, I think we would need more if we were to venture out. The thing is, I... what do you yes. want to do this? How do you want to approach this? There's always a plan, right? 
Either Indeed. we hire enough help, go out, do a full sweep, or we just go travel light, uh, scout the surrounding area, or even talk to higher authorities about this. See if they have anything we can, any tasks we can take. You know, it's always best to work on a job when you get paid. You don't. You you are not the kind who does free work, right? He waves his head to his, from side to side a little. We're paid or not, it will reward you in one way or another. I mean, true, but you're not the kind of uh, people who would say, Oh, I would do works for free just because I feel better about myself. You're not the kind, right? Would it worry you if I were? I, it would worry me deeply if you were. Well, then I am not. He gives you a, a bit of a sarcastic smile. We'll see. I, I work for what I believe is worth working for, be it coin or otherwise. Oh, so you have a worship. Target. Mm -hmm. Worship anyone? He, yeah, he looks to your hand again. Something like that. Mm -hmm. This, not by choice. So, yeah, no. Uh, he pats his chest and says, Mine isn't either. Interesting. Well, let's... Let's be frank. I do work. Definitely. I occasionally, rarely do works for free, yes, but almost always I do works for a price. Man's gotta eat. How else am I gonna pay for my stay, for my food and drinks? So yeah, uh, yeah. if I were to approach this, and that's just me, I would go find Signpost, uh, task board, or whatever. Look for it, find a decent target, go after, and get paid once I'm done. Yeah, probably, you know, you probably can need some magical help. You're going to be having to venture out far afield, and well, Cyril here is extremely good at like. What what spells do you have, uh, Sirius? You guys don't know. <laughs> no, just kidding. For the DM, the DM. I for the DM <laughs> I got uh, well mostly no. spells that can help uh, in combat. So fog cloud, charm person, well shield, hex, stuff like that. Yeah. Let me uh, pull you, up you your sheet check my here for a moment. Sheet. I'm checking. Yeah, I'm checking it right now. I, I would I would also ask in character if we were to go out what would you be able to do i am more of a physical he's a support fighter okay, so i see so uh, serious is something of a support character you're a force multiplier depends i can go in the front line sure but i don't prefer that i uh, mostly do stuff from afar if you get my truth. He nods, uh, looking him over once again. You do not seem like a cleric. Nope. My power mm. is from my blood. I see. It's a birthright. He said that with pride. But you know, not not the not the kind of like looking down at the others, but more like he's proud of his bloodline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I would say if we go, we might want someone more attuned to the spectrum of life. True. In one way or another. Uh, so, sorry, uh, 
asking the DM. Cyrus would know that this town, uh, well, the guilds, right? Uh, would, well, from his background, can he at least try to yeah. determine? Yeah, there's uh, most of the guilds are run by one of the dragon houses. Yeah. Okay. No, um, I mean, way, uh, do they have guilds okay. in this town? Can he tell? Yes, yeah, right. Obviously, this town is 7,000 people. It obviously does at this point, but yeah. uh, Sai, yeah. this is a bit of an important uh, note for you, for the druid. Yeah. Um, just so you know, the, you have access, as a druid, you have access to every single druid spell of the levels that you can cast. Yeah. You just have to choose which ones you prepare. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. It's a long list. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a long, long list. list. So, so uh, just yes. just do what I do. Just pick the ones you like, and then don't worry about the others. But remember, you can look at them from time to time. Yeah. 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 You can drag the all of them onto them. your character sheet. You can drag all the spells you can cast onto your character yeah. sheet and just leave. Yeah, them. but they aren't they aren't all on there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the problem. Um, but uh, yeah, Sirius and Pan, you both know that you need that. I don't think either of you are good at the whole nature stuff, right? Nope. Mm, no, not against nature, no. But no, but because like, you can't. You're, you're more city slickers, really. Is what, the, what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I. Yeah. Yeah. More or less. You, you need somebody who can do nature. You're, gonna, you're not going to be able to go out. If you go out into the wilderness, you may miss signs and walk right into a monster trap. Yeah. You need yeah. someone who's able to figure this out. Someone who's able to figure that kind of stuff out. Yeah able to track monsters across any terrain and better yet someone who can heal us like yep, someone who can heal we need us. a ranger <laughs> so true ranger. it's not it's not <laughs> it's actually not far-fetched yeah, rangers true, can but a druid can also help yeah. a druid can also help and uh oh, there's a druid looking young lady who is currently devouring two plates full of meat and potatoes all at once yeah mm. Um, if I give her a, like, uh, look up and down, what weapons does she have on her? Uh, you can see that on her, uh, right hip, there's, like, a, a sheath scimitar. And by sheath, I mean, like, she just kind of, like, wrapped it up in, like, a cloth or something just to make sure it doesn't cut anybody while she's walking. And on her back is just, like, a nice wooden shield. Because, mm -hmm. you know, she can't really wear any metal. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, like, sort of shield, basically. Nice. Taking his uh, spoon up to his mouth and slurping <laughs> Beca because it's a little too hot for him. <laughs> <laughs> he will uh, then ask, "You hungry? Why are you mm, it's wait warm. Wait, you're not contracted to s anything, right?" I work with a guy who has a. Yeah. I I turned my head inquisitively. Let's just say he didn't end up well. And oh. yeah. There's that. Mm -hmm. you, you are not contracted to any kind of disease, right? Oh. Mm, no, no diseases have plagued me for a long time. Good. Good. Aside from the fact that... It's syphilis. <laughs> no, just kidding. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say that, you know, aside from the fact that he says a clap so often that with him it's more like applause. <laughs> Duck. Oh, okay, that is awesome. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah but... I, I, just good. I may not be the most... forward person but i think i'm gonna turn and look out and nod towards uh, the druid she might be worth talking to as well can i also inspect our druid lady who's eating can we can i tell that she's you know uh, at the scale of one to and is she experienced? <laughs> from a scale from 1 to no, 20? No, no, not, not, the, <laughs> yeah. is she? not the level, but more like, well, is she an experienced 
like traveler. Oh, she looks like she's just some traveler. Okay, so the weapons are not for show. Okay. Yeah, you can tell like the shield has seen better days. Okay. Um, tip and some of the best gear, like as what is what again? Like it, it looks more like I like I mean like drew her for thick shield, so like it does look like that. So, like it's like she ripped out a piece of bark and made it into a shield, and I just done wonders for her. Uh, yeah, don't worry. So uh, sorry, she yeah. is worse. So, <laughs> yeah. So, well, he'll look at you, yeah, and just says, "Agree." Just probably worth talking to, I guess. With certain experience, it's always helpful. All right. Indeed. Do you wish to talk to her? And sure. I can see if I can find a... He waits a second, trying to finger the word. A notice board where someone might have posted something that needs doing. Maybe a scouting mission. Sure. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll go towards our druid lady. And yeah. Uh, while Cyrus walked towards, uh, Ariana, <laughs> he'll mm -hmm. sit down next to her by the counter and just like... So, Come here often. Yeah, just, just, uh, quiet for, for a second at first, and just says, uh, so, you are an adventurer. She like she showed like half a half potato in her in her mouth and then she turns around to look at you and she's like <laughs> Nice. Bruh? Yeah. Uh you are an adventurer. This time it's not questioning, it's more like a confirmation. Yeah. Would you be interested in Well working on tasks together? Huh? Oh, I'm a druid, mister. <laughs> um, oh, even better. But, 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 I, I, oh, so hello. Yep. Um, I'm Aria. How are you? Um, good. Thank you. Oh, you look different. You smell funny, too. Hmm. I was asking you took a bath, mister. Yeah. Or probably because their roasted beef is really tasty. Either mm. way. Yeah. What's this about a job? Or uh, an adventure? I like the sound of that. Well, me and my companion are interested in taking on jobs to make our lives live a little bit better mm. by helping the locals doing jobs, getting paid so we live a better life you know the truth oh man is that what the tr is that what grandpa meant? okay yeah alright sure cause I was sent here from wait for my I can't actually say that from the forest. Um, way far from here, and I was told to help, and I wasn't the sure. It's called the, the far, It's called the Eldian Reaches. No, he he thinks he can't say he's from, you know. Okay. Right there. Yeah. I mean, you can tell he's from like somewhere wild. She's from somewhere wild. Yeah. Uh, she's her clothing. You clearly attest to that. Mm -hmm. Twigs in her hair. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you, you said you were sent here. Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So, and I wasn't sure where to start, and because I was just gonna take a look around the town until something happened. But if we can go outside and solve problems, that would be super good. Um. The she holds out her hand, which uh, you know, just, just shake. Mm -hmm. Uh, as a greeting and stuff like that, but 
it's pretty cool that she's been like the clean so, like uh, utensils next to her plate of food have been, like, gone untouched. So, like she's been eating with her hands for like yeah, don't also worry. like a while. Uh, <laughs> I Cyrus casts prestigitation on the hand and before he shakes it, Cyrus, nice to meet you. Cyrus, yeah, Cyrus. I am Aria. You can call me Aria. Okay. Or Ari. Ari it is. Yeah. Uh, my friend or Pan is ahead. out there. That's, that's a special name. Yeah. My, mm. my friend Pan is out there looking for the okay. job post. I will be outside and when you finish, mm. just come meet us outside. Okay. okay. And she... Oh, well, of course, well, she digs into her pouch, puts down the amount of money necessary to pay for this meal, and just goes straight outside. No. <laughs> no, she's done. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So, two empty plates and an empty mug of water later, and she's just kind of outside. Okay. She'll be there. She's kind of, like, knelt down, like, looking at, like, the ants crawling across the ground or something. Okay. Uh, Cyrus will actually check his equipment, like, inventory-wise. Is he, like, okay? Rations, water bottle, sorry, uh, water skins, and all that. Everything's checked, and he'll go outside. Yep. So, where's mm -hmm. Pan, actually, at this point? Uh, I'm on the board, on the host board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, most of the jobs are just like small time jobs. Like, we need someone to chop wood for us, we need somebody to come out and help with. Help with the harvest. We need this, and that, blah, blah, blah. But there is one thing that's interesting. Mm -hmm. House Kenneth has posted a large notice that dominates the board. It says that one of their caravans, which was well armed and well protected, has vanished into thin air, and they will pay a lot of money to find out what happened to it. Hmm. My God. Um, is Six this thousand. one of the things you? Oh. Six thousand gold, if you can bring back proof, a uh, verifiable proof, of what ha of the caravan's fate. Yeah. Two seconds. My alarm is ringing, and I cannot find my phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. I found it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, he will. Uh, is this one of the things you like rip down or? Nah, uh, it's it's got. It's just. That's just a picture. Yeah, cool. Um, does it save from where it was traveling? Um. So would it be coming from the east or west or? Yeah, it's coming from the east. Um. Supposedly, it uh, stopped. Uh, it uh, was traveling from, uh, it supposedly took the lightning rail from Starliaska up to all the way to Hatherel. It was basically following your path, Pan. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from Hatherel, it was supposed to make its way up to Drumkeep and then from there to Zandrar. They know what they, the last point it checked in was at Drumkeep, where they said, yeah, it's fine. We didn't have much troubles. So we're going to be heading out in a day or two. We'll see. You. They should have arrived at Zandra about a week ago now, mm -hmm. but they haven't. Uh, did it say if they had left uh, Drum Drill? Yeah, they yeah they know they have left Drum Keep. They don't okay. know what happened to them. Okay. Well, he will probably uh, read it over a couple of times to try and remember everything, and then uh, go and. Uh, Go outside. Alrighty. And what are you gonna do once you're outside? Uh, go to the druid lady. He's still not been introduced to. Okay. Walk hey! to her and say hello. My name is Pan. You hello. can call me Pan. Okay, Pan. I'll call you Pan. Thank you. What may Pan. your name be? I'm Ariandro. You can call me Ari. Ariandro. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm gonna look around. Have you seen Cyrus? I uh, was about when you speak, I walk out of the tavern. I'm just like, oh, there he is. So you guys met? I found him. Yeah. Yeah. I just invited our lovely dear lady to join us. So, Pan, mm. uh, did you see? Pan, sorry, Pan, uh, Aria, sorry, Ari, Pan, Ari, Ari, Pan. Uh, Pan, did you see anything interesting worth doing? Any jobs that worth ta mentioning about? Um, no. Mm. Sorry, well, I was, I was Pan, asking I mean, Pan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> there was a caravan yeah, that has been lost. It would be out east of here. Um, okay. So who's the task? You know, who posts the task? Um, open mouth, word vomit, everything out. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I would just... Uh, yeah, okay, I'll summarize it quickly. Us yeah. Canis, us Canis posted it. One of the caravans. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, I know, I know. Well, yeah, so, player, so basically, like, yeah. basically that because I forgot. How's Canis? Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, so. Wait. That must mean interesting. Okay. Uh, we're in luck. I actually have a few contact I can call so Ooh. yeah uh, let's go ask them first for further details mm -hmm. before we do this mm -hmm. sounds good mm -hmm. all right it is agreeable all right uh, I tried to find their well branch in the city House cannon. Yeah, they're enclaves. Yep. Yeah, it's easy to find it. It's the one with all the smokestacks sticking out of the top. Yep. <gasps> what are those? Well, probably some residue. Uh, while making it stuff. Looks, looks oh. like chimneys. Yep. Chimney. Oh, I thought you mean the smoke. Yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> it's a buff. Okay. Uh, I walk. Well, Cyrus walks towards, well, the branch, wherever they are. Yeah, they it's have a closed. It, the, the door is closed. Um, but it, it's it does in the window. The sign does say open. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna walk in. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, gingerly walk through. Yeah. You gingerly walk through, and you're immediately hit with the smell of melting metal. Ah, uh, smell of fresh. Strong smell. Yeah, smell of it's, fresh baked stuff or burnt stuff. It's not baked. It's, I know burnt it's, stuff. It's, yeah, yeah. That that was just Cyrus talking to himself. It's just like excuse me, deep fried. Yep. Yeah. He, yeah. He, like you guys can see, he's sick. really used to this kind of smell. Yeah, there's an artificer sitting at the counter. He's busy fixing something while referencing a book. He says, "As you enter, he's like." Yeah, come in, come in, shut the door quickly. We gotta keep the temperature hot in here. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, close the door, yes. Yeah, close the door behind you. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, we can't let the temperature get too high, otherwise the metal will just cool evenly. It's... <clears throat> anyway, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, this is my card. Uh, well, as a hired member, not full-time membership, but as a higher member of the House Kenneth, I would, me and my partners would like to know what happened uh, with the caravan. We're interested in the job you post. And Interesting stuff. He looks up at you and he says, "Well, all we know is it didn't, it didn't come. It should have shown up 20 days ago. It's been almost a month." And it, it was a very well armed caravan, too. We spent no expense to get these weapons up. Oh, that is hard. It has arms. How are the position of the guards? I mean, number wise. Or well, how's fucking Canada? We can hire the best guards that they have. I know. I know. You guys paid the best. I understand that. 
but I would like to know... You don't sound so good if they're gone. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah, you understand now why we're concerned. Yeah, yeah, so that's why we're here, to help solve your problems. Uh, Cyrus, uh, like, tries to calm the artificer down. Uh, as you can see, uh, um, Snake Eyes, uh, you probably heard of me, or not, I guess. Uh, I'm here to solve this problem, so uh, maybe a little bit more inf intel about this caravan's composition-wise, who are the leaders, so if we find them, we can, you know, know it's them. He just said, he his stuff and it says, 20 wagons, I believe, mixed race, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of weapons, they were bringing weapons up here, so they weren't lacking for weapons in when they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, any weapons? The guy was experienced, I know that. Wait, inexperienced? No, he was experienced, not okay. inexperienced, Sorry. he knew what he was doing. Okay. <clears throat> Does the leader have a name? Oh man, what's that? It's a I, that thing. I don't know. Don't don't touch that place. Please don't. Oh. Yeah, if you don't want your it, hands it, it, blown off, probably. It, it's not gonna blow your hands off. Don't be ridiculous. It'll dissolve them. It's full of acid. <laughs> oh. That's what I. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, no, I don't know the name. They, we were never told the name. All we know is it was arranged in Sharn. Hmm. It was all arranged from Sharn. We didn't do anything. We had nothing to do with it. We were just told, hey, there's a caravan coming up here. Okay. They'll let you, they'll have our card. They'll let you know. To be honest, when you showed me the card, I was, I initially thought you were the caravan master. Hmm. Interesting. Well, sadly, I'm not. But, good news <laughs> is, I'm here to help. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. Not so right. that's everything, right? Not quite. We do know that somewhere in town there is a shepherd, a guy named Larman Greenboot, who claims he has seen fresh dug graves somewhere out in the hill country. Are uh, you asking the DM? Please give me the name later. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so freshly ducked graves, huh? Yes. So not bandits. Hmm. Should be. Maybe they're trying to bury the evidence. Sorry, no, not monsters. My bad. Not monsters. Mon monsters don't mm -hmm. have that kind of luxury. Well, don't have that kind of mood that would bury dead people. You don't, you've never seen some of the stuff I'm drawing. Shit you see them do. Hmm. Well, speaking of monsters, what are the frequently known harassment you guys face? You just the, Goblins? Yeah, the usual. Gnolls, Medusa, Minotaurs. Oh. Okay. I know some hags. Occasional hag. Don't know that one. Yeah, good thing you don't know that one. Okay. Because, kid, I'm not gonna lie to you, those, those things are beasts. Mm. Hags yeah. are nasty. nasty. As you can nasty, see, nasty, nasty. we're here to investigate, not, you know, just of course. killing all of them. We're not as equipped as that kind of mm. level. All right. Well, we do. We don't have any weapons, but we do have some items that might be useful if you've got the money for it. Can we see? <sighs> Grandpa gave me money, but I don't know. That's enough. That sounds like it's enough. He looks at you. There he says, "Yeah, that." Judging by the looks of you, I honestly didn't think you knew what money was. <laughs> it's kind of a relief to find out that you know what money is. I got food with it. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, so let's see what he Impressed, has. Impressed, I am. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, uh... You have a chime of opening. Okay. Doubt. Doubt that we'll use it, but... In the, in the wilderness, but okay. They have circlet of blasting. Useful, yeah. but probably way out of our league. And cloak of elven kind. Also useful, but probably we don't have the money to afford it. No. Yep. Okay. Uh, I look at him and just like, all right. I guess that's it. Yeah. Sorry about that, partner. It's okay. We we know House Candace. Uh, only the best. Yeah, only, only the best. The best. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, thanks for all your help. We'll let you know once we found anything. Once we find anything. All right. Yeah. 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 Like I said, you're gonna have to look around for this. For you're gonna have to look around for Mr. Green Boots. Yeah. If anybody knows, it's probably him. Well done. <laughs> good day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good day. Yeah. I walk out and tries to find. The location of this shepherd. Uh, Make an investigation. Sh- um, actually, investigation. I thought he already gave us, you know. The no, he doesn't know where he is. He knows the person, okay. but he doesn't know where the person is. Cool. So investigation, I guess. The investigation, I guess, to figure out where he is. All right. And he wants to do it, or I got a plus two. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, just straight up investigation. Can anyone help me? <laughs> yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Alright, area so makes that help. Seventeen. Nice. Seventeen. Oh. Right. Should have go for that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So. Yeah, there's, uh... Yeah, it's, he apparently hangs out at a barber shop, just gossiping with people. Mm. Alright. We'll go to the barber shop, I guess. Barber shop? What's a barber? Well, those kind of people who tend to your hair. Hmm. Yeah. Whenever it's it gets weird. too long. Yeah. They're not gonna touch mine, are they? Well, I you like have to pay hair. them for them to touch. Oh, okay. Them, so, yeah. don't let them know I have money then. I will not. Uh, Good. Okay, Cyrus will Thank talk you. to. Well, not talk in advance, but more like he will go to the barber shop and quietly listens to whatever Mister Greenboot has to say. Or is talking right. about? Yeah, you go to the barbershop. It's uh, low. It's got a low ceiling. It smells kind of funky. It smells of uh, sweat, grime, and the shaving cream. I like how the other place smelled. Yeah, inside is it's. Um. It, inside is just a bunch of staggy looking men who are in no particular hurry to have their hair cut. They're sitting around listening to this wizened, weathered old man just talking. And you think this is your guy? Because when you walk in, he said, the wizened old man says, And I'm telling you, I found them fresh graves just up out in the hills. I know what fresh graves look like. I fought in the last war. I saved King Barnum himself from that catapult blast. Oh, hey, well, you last know? time you said it was a rampaging dragon. It was a cattle for blast from a rampaging dragon. Get your facts straight. That's a dangerous dragon. Mm, nice. Yes, right. Yeah, oh, I'm man. gonna I'm gonna like lessons for a bit before I chime in. So mostly he's yeah. probably bragging about 
Yeah, fighting, find it. Yeah, fighting in the last war. Yeah, I'm telling you, I ain't never seen Prince Reyes up on the hills before. I've been shepherding out there for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> and the audio cut us really perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, Y'all, yep. I never, I never knew much of bandits had been digging graves. All right. Sorry, you were cutting off. Sorry. No <laughs> curse, I'm cutting out. It's the curse of Strad all over again. <laughs> God, dang it. You can ask him for help. Yes. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the graves. They had these little gravestones, and somebody went to the trouble of carving cards into them. Okay. Like charts and sweets, like the, you know, like the face guys, like kings, the jacks, and the queens, and the clubs, and the hearts, and the spades, and the diamonds. Here's the real thing. Here's the real funny thing. Some of them repeated, like, you'd have, like, a couple of jacks and diamonds, you'd have a couple of kings of clubs and stuff. I think there's things mapped to whatever is buried under there. I can take you out there to show you if you like. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going. My legs, you know how my legs are. You ain't got any legs. I were blown off in the war. Exactly. I ain't leaving this town. <laughs> I was down and running my wheelchair over the bumpy hills and all that. Oh, all can right. we go? Uh, I think. Well, Cyrus has heard enough, so he will probably just leave the old man. Well, mm, that's mostly he needs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he will. Yeah, how'd you find them again? You found them again? Hurry. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was chasing that lonesome sheep. The bastard runs like the wind when he wants to. Can't run like that to get away from a whole nurse, sir, but when I show up, John Sherry, that thing moves like this lightning. <laughs> <sighs> so, we probably know by now the gravestones have weird carvings, card characters, like kings, jack queens, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. And we know the location. Just outside Just of the town. somewhere on the hills. You don't know exactly where they are located. Okay. Uh, I'll go forward to the old man. Just ask him. So, uh -huh. just pretend I'm like an enthusiastic listener. Just like, yes. oh, so, this is so terrible, horrifying. Did, uh, are we <laughs> safe? Is it out just outside of the town? Oh my god. It's some way out of the town, but I think it's emblematic that things are gonna get a hell of a lot worse before they get better, boy. You wanna see them? I can take you out to see them if you like. Yeah, sure. Uh, just probably uh, see them from afar, so, you know, the... Yeah, we're gonna have to win some more. I'm just gonna get them in the Oh, but, but you're so enthusiastic. I think you would. I know, but I've faced. I fought the freaking zombie armies of Garnet. I watched them turn freshly dead bodies into zombies. If you watch your friends rise up as the undead to rip your face off and desecrate your corpse, yeah, you think twice about going near the dead at night. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought, I thought we arrived in the morning, and this is probably just afternoon. I'm asking. It is Mania. afternoon. Okay. It is probably the afternoon, but he's not going out there until morning. He, it's probably a distance away. Okay. Cool. And like, Understood. like he said, he's faced. He fought in the last war. He faced Karnath, and you know, you all know that Karnath used zombie armies to mm -hmm. supplement their soldiers, their living soldiers, during the last days of the last war. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, sure. We'll we'll meet you here tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Right. <laughs> You're welcome. See, I told you someone would believe me sooner or later. <laughs> someone want to go out and see him? Yeah. Told um, you. Uh, so what are you going to do now in the meantime? Well, find a place to rest, I guess. Yeah, Just, yeah, you know, you find, find a place that we can rest if we need to. Wayfinders. Yeah, just probably. It's go. not just a, not just a place to eat. <laughs> it's also a place to sleep. Yeah, true. Uh, well, Cyrus is gonna say to the others. So, I guess we 
have to wait until tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Since, well, like what the old man was saying, it's probably not wise to go out in the dark. But we can use this time to look around the city. I mean, that's a plus. <laughs> we know our ins and outs so that we know what places we can look for if we need it. <sighs> or you guys can, you know, go back to tavern if you want. I'm gonna take a look around the town. Pan? Hmm. What'd you say? What'd you think? I think he hasn't found his phone yet. <laughs> no. can, oh God, I've I've been talking a lot. Can't you? Couldn't you hear me? No. You you guys were just constantly interrupting me. I was just like, oh okay, I'll just be silent. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mute yourself? No, I didn't mute myself. Oh, sure. I don't know what happened. We don't hear out. you at all. That's why. Like I said, yeah. Yeah. there's a curse of fraud. <laughs> D -d uh, I do not mind one way or another. If we go now, we will be there sooner. If we wait, we'll have a guide. There is something worth either way. <laughs> or you can go out of town and explore until around sundown. But you gotta get back before the sun goes down, because that's when the gates go dark. That's when the gates are shut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I will go around in the city. Well, just to look around, see, like, understand, understanding the lays of the land, and what are the shops here? What are the garrison? You know, just the standard scouting. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, the town is pretty much uh, anything. It's uh, pretty much everything that you need that you find for an, find in a city this big. Mm. I mean, it's no Sharn to be sure. Mm -hmm. But still a big but, city. Yeah. But yeah, seven thousand people is not small. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything in particular you're going to be looking for, or...? Well, for travelers, uh, basic stuff like supply shops, uh, blacksmith... Uh, That's um, all of Kenneth. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, was it all in that branch, or do they have separate locations? It's all in that one place. Okay. Uh, Kenneth basically has monopolized the manufacturing scene. Mm-hmm. And about healing, about, you know, a uh, place we can find clerics, uh, the position of the church. Healing, there's, a, yeah. there's a temple of the Sovereign Host okay. with a shrine to the Silver Flame next to it. <laughs> well, Cyrus will, when passing through it, just do a really casual, like, not in, well, not not a really formal like pray gesture but just doing it like yeah okay I'll, I'll, I'll pray a little whatever that kind of stuff <laughs> yeah uh, uh, and he will move on to the others uh, the, the sovereign house the temple of the sovereign house is a lot bigger and a lot more established um, yeah, the Silver Flame has been discouraged a little by Breland, not because like they have suspicions of the Faith itself, but because the Faith runs Thrain, and Thrain is nominally an enemy of Breland, mm -hmm. even if they're at peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different um, factions. So yeah, like I said, it, I mean, like I said, it's well established, it's well staffed. Mm -hmm. um, people going in and out, but uh, there's no worship service on for the rest of the weeks until. Until the start of the week, so uh, it's oh uh, you're, you're... yeah. Cyrus will just 
he is almost he he done his prayer outside just you know like a bypasser just do a prayer on the outside but before he's leaving he was like oh right i almost forgot uh, uh can you guys wait for me for a moment uh just talking to the whoever's running this place yeah i'm gonna go inside too i want to see what it looks like sure yeah. yeah. You go inside. Yeah. yeah. You go inside. It's not particularly impressive. The inside is wooden. There's some offices dedicated to the running of the temple. Yeah. There's a large sanctuary for worship, but beyond that, it's like the beyond that, the only things of interest are probably the pictures hanging from the wall. Yeah. Depicting famous heroes of the faith or depicting uh, the gods. Cyrus noticed that uh, both Pan and you know. Uh, Ari are walking yeah. around, so Sarswood just says, eh, "How's well? Tr- the church is not known for fancy decor. They mostly yeah, put, put their efforts in combat, well, fighting the evil, whatever." Yeah, Southern House, Southern House is much simpler. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to the very ornate Silver Flame, mm-hmm. but the difference between the Sovereign Host and the Silver Flame is most people question whether or not the Sovereign Host exists, and there's reasonable evidence to believe that they don't. Mm. The Silver Flame, on the other hand, very much exists on certain festival days. You can actually see it, yep. and it can actually it actually does speak to yep. people. They they perform miracles, so yeah, the people actually believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. I'll talk to the leader of this church and just says, well, uh, Nolan sends his regard here for the job and we'll be working on it. Just reporting in if anything is, you know, if I can help anything, I could, I could offer assistance while I'm here, which comes yeah. in for a price, but yeah. Just stuff like that. Just talking yeah. to them. Just like, okay, I'm here. I can yeah. help, but it's yeah, it's for a price. That's it. Yeah, it just says that the you know, head. He uh, says, it just says, yeah, it's it's good to hear. Um, but yeah, we don't really have much to pay. But if you. Uh, and just if you just start by clearing out some of the bandit holes and the monsters in the area, that people would certainly be noticed and they'd certainly be grateful. Mm. Good old fashioned tricks. Well, fighting the evil, doing good, bring the kind. Yeah, that's what we do, right? Yeah. Mm. It's just, yeah, well, evil is sometimes just a word. Yep. Mm-hmm. After all, the Silver Flame for all of it, the Church of the Silver Flame for all of its big, for all our rumors, all of its, oh, we help the innocent, we do this, we do that. For the longest time, it was viewed as evil by Breland. Mm-hmm. Yep. Politics. Whatever. Uh, yep. Like I said, I'm just here to help, and we'll be doing some jobs here and there. Just letting you guys know, uh, we're staying in the mm-hmm. Wayfinder, so... Awesome. Yep. Good to hear. Nod and just leaving, I guess. Mm-hmm. Pan would probably have uh, made his way to one of the pews, like, stroked it and then sat down, looking, up, looking forward and either praying or thinking mm-hmm. to himself. Is just gonna tell uh, you. Is this a, yeah. By the way, if you're looking for uh, something, I do know that uh, some time ago there was uh, a guy who came in who needed his wagons repaired. He was rich. He paid well. He, nobody really asked him questions. But uh, he said there was some gathering of druids out in the hills. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing, but it it might be something worth checking out. Yeah, who's this guy? Do you know him? Of him? Know his name? Druids? 
Out here? I'm just gonna hang on. And what's this wagon looks like? Severely damaged? Okay, it really just had some busted wheels, but uh... Okay. Was it like a fortified wagon that you would see <sighs> on a caravan? Or is it like no, normal... No, no, but uh... Farmer's wagon, probably. Yeah, probably, but uh, he had a lot of goods. It was all marked with this, uh, I don't know, a symbol I'd never seen before. Uh, I draw down the symbol of House Candace and just like... Yeah, it didn't like look this? like that. Okay. It didn't, it wasn't the Gorgon, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. It was... Yeah. Mm, I, I don't know, but there's like a bowl that helps. A bowl, okay. A bowl, yes, like what you put soup in. Oh, a ball. I, I heard a bull. Sorry. I thought it was a, like... Yeah, he's gonna draw a very crude representation for you. It's like... Like a bull. With a little... with a spoon sticking out the top. Yeah, I don't know if that helps. You mentioned something about... What is that? Um, druids, correct? Yeah, on the yeah. outside of town. Yeah, Would it be? North. Oh, further north. I yeah, see. Some, somewhere north by Lake Galifar, somewhere. Thank you. So, I, I like this. I don't know if it helps. That Info probably information could. always helps. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sorry, I don't have more for you. Don't be. We're happy to know that there is more of this. Hmm. Thanks. Thanks for all your help. Yeah, no problem. Have a pleasant day. I wanna go see about the Druids. It would be interesting, yes. What hell is standing they? up. And starting to leave. I think if we go east first, as we have an, mm. as we already have, a, mm. he squints a little, trying, trying to summon the word mm -hmm. uh, to his head. Intel. A deal with a man tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Who right. will lead us there? And then we can swing north if Mewtwo have equipment for staying out in the wilds. Okay. That would actually be helpful. Arian probably has the equipment to stay out in the wild. Mm -hmm. But yep. not me. Well, I, I do have, you know, adventuring packs, but... Well, no, I, resting in wilderness is never easy. Cyrus, I would recommend you maybe looking around and buying what equipment you need. You can bring Ariana along with you, and you don't need anything. Show her around. I will go and think for myself. For I got a whole bunch of stuff. All right. My friend's back, and don't give me a backpack. <laughs> we... Shall we meet uh, at the end tomorrow morning? Yeah, sure. Okay. Have a pleasant night, the two of you. You too. It says, turning and leaving. Alright. Alright, and we'll stop here for now. Oh, right, yeah, cool. Because I want a chance to make a map. <laughs> and then make a copy of the map with no uh, with no markings on it for you. So that way, when you explore and you find out where everything is, it can actually feel like an achievement. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so nice. I guess you can like a whole day. Like this would be like a long rest, kind of rest and stuff like that too, right? Yeah, yeah we we'll... get a long rest. Mm -hmm. Because right, I'm just gonna spam good berries. Just gonna have like a, a stock of berries for like the next session. Then that's yeah. okay. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna cast this all four times. Um, um. Yeah. Up to ten.
Uh, I'm actually I'm kind of interested to see what you guys are going to do with your yeah, characters. Yeah, they, me too. Hmm. They lose their potency if they're not being consumed within 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, so well, so it'll, it'll be for like a parts of the day. Mm-hmm. Like, can I imagine it's like an eight-hour rest day or something, something like that. So like, yeah. before she goes to bed, like just <laughs> berries and like a little mm-hmm. baggie. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So that would be good. Uh. Math, I'm not. Yeah, it should be like good enough for a day. Math, mm-hmm. math, math alright. A good sixteen math. hours of good berries. Oh yeah. Sweet. Yeah, math is hard. Just to be, um, just to be fair though, since it's like up to ten, I imagine like I have to roll a d10 for it, or is it just like I just say, oh, I get ten, kind of deal? Um, I think it's one d10. Up to ten. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's up to ten. You choose the number between one and ten. Ooh. Okay. Oh. So we have forty berries. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Yeah. No. And nice, like, in between combat, because like, a lot of my healing is going to be, like, very much, like, I'll patch you up during combat if I have to, but, like, I I think I'm pretty decent in, like, um, in between combat, because I have stuff, like, I can prep healing spirit and stuff like that to kind of, like, yeah. like, if we need to chill off for a bit, like, I can just pop that down or whatever, but yeah. Cool. Awesome. I did not realize Druid could just use the entire spell list, I'm like, fuck. Druid is, like, cleric. Yeah. I'm just picking oh what like looks good or like what's in character for her to have. Yep. Yeah. I mean that's the best way to do things. Yeah. yeah. That's long. Um, I don't know what the red dot means next to like a Oh prepare. Uh you can oh, okay. click on it and those are the spells you have prepared. Yeah. You have to yeah, prepare and you can spells. Pre- yeah, you can only prepare so many. Yeah. Uh, depending on. Yeah, I believe things. it says. Uh, no, is it a fire plus your level? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just six something in total, like that. So yeah. That's a lot. All right. Hmm. Yep. Now, if you guys need uh, healing, I also have a small amount of healing. I mean, that's more I'm spells, really uh, more spells than I can prepare. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Uh, and... See you later. Yeah, that's about it. Thanks. Peace. Yeah. Well, thanks for the game, man. We managed to yeah. get off to a good start, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nice. 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 Oh, quite yeah, pretty chill. Start. I had I had time to kind of figure out the character that I was going to play, and I think I did pretty alright with it. Nice. Alright. Mm-hmm. That's good. Alright, guys. Take it easy. Alright, you too, man. You too. Yep, good game, good night. Bye, guys. Yep.